Let's say this stone moves to the right at 2 meters per second. What would its velocity vector look like? Let's focus on the initial point when the stone is here. This is the velocity vector at this time. The vector points to the right, which is the direction of the motion. We can draw the vector on the object at a specific moment in time. We can also draw the vector anywhere else if the picture gets too crowded. We just need to keep track of the object and the time point that the vector represents. So the velocity of the stone is 2 meters per second. But how long should this vector be? Drawing a velocity vector is a little different than drawing a displacement vector. Displacement vectors are unique because displacement includes an initial and a final point. So we could draw the vector connecting the points in 2D space. But when we draw a velocity vector, we usually represent the instantaneous velocity of an object. That means we're describing the magnitude and direction of the velocity at one point, one instant in time. This also means that the velocity vector is not tracing out the path of the object. It's showing the direction of motion at one instant in time. That'll make more sense later on. So the magnitude of the velocity is 2 meters per second, but we can draw the vector any length that we want. Having said that, the length does matter if we're comparing multiple vectors. For example, if this stone is moving at 2 meters per second, and this one is moving at 4 meters per second, we draw a longer velocity vector to represent a greater velocity. If the velocity is double, then the vector would be twice as long. So if we're asked a question where there's multiple vectors in one picture, just know that the length corresponds to the magnitude of the vector. If they're velocity vectors, a longer arrow means it's moving faster. But most of the time, if you're drawing vectors yourself, just use numbers to keep track of the magnitudes, and don't worry too much about drawing the vectors to scale. So that's the velocity vector at this initial point. What about one second later, when the stone is here? The velocity vector at this time would be the same. The stone has a constant velocity, so the velocity vector is the same at every point. If the stone was moving in the y direction at 2 meters per second, then the velocity vector would look like this, and it would be the same at every point in time. 